In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to zip files in Microsoft Word within just five minutes. Whether you're aiming to save space on your hard disk, wanting to make your files more manageable for email attachments, or simply looking to keep your documents neatly organized, zipping files is a handy skill that everyone should know. It compresses your files into a smaller, more portable format, which can be easily shared or stored. Let's start from the very beginning. Suppose you've been working on several Word documents throughout the week. These documents are crucial for your next project presentation and you've decided it would be best to compress them into a single, more manageable zip file. How do you proceed? The process is simpler than you might think. First, navigate to the folder on your computer where your Word documents or any other files you wish to compress are located. This could be in your documents folder, desktop or any other location where you've saved your work. Finding your files is the initial step and possibly the easiest but it's crucial for what comes next. Once you've located the folder containing your files, the next step is to uh, select them. If you're zipping multiple files, you can select them individually by holding down the control key on your keyboard and clicking each file you want to include in your zip file. If you intend to zip all the files within a folder, a quicker way is to press control plus A, which selects everything in the folder. If you're a Mac user, you would use the command key instead of control. This step is all about choice and ensuring you've got exactly what you need before moving forward. After selecting your files, the next step involves creating the actual compressed zipped folder. This is where the magic happens. To do this, you'll need to right click on one of the selected files. This will open a context menu. Within this menu, you'll find several options, but the one you're interested in is send to. Hover your mouse over this option and it will expand to reveal more choices. Here you'll find and want to select compressed zipped folder. Clicking this option prompts your computer to begin compressing the selected files into a new zipped folder right in the same location as the original files. It's worth mentioning that this folder will initially be named after one of the files you've zipped, but don't worry, you can easily rename it. Simply right click the new zipped folder, select rename, and type in whatever name makes sense for you. For example, if you've zipped all the documents related to your project, you might name the folder Project Documents. This helps keep things organized and makes your files easily identifiable. There you have it. Within minutes, you've successfully compressed your Word documents into a zipped folder. This compressing method doesn't only apply to Word documents. It can be used for photos, PDFs, or any other file types needing to be bundled together. Zipping files not only helps in reducing file size, but also in managing file transfers. If you're emailing a bunch of documents, it's far more efficient to send one zipped file rather than multiple attachments. Plus, it's a universal method that works across different operating systems, making it a versatile skill to have. To summarize, working with zipped files is an excellent way to keep your digital workspace clean and efficient. Remember the process is simply locating your files. Selecting which ones you want to compress, right clicking to access the send to option, and then choosing compressed zipped folder. With this knowledge, you'll find managing and sharing your files easier than ever before. That wraps up our guide on how to zip files in Microsoft Word or frankly any files you need. Hopefully this tutorial has shed some light on the process and you're now more confident in your ability to handle file compression. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to like and subscribe for more useful tips and tutorials. Happy zipping!